All right, second grade, are you ready to solve some math problems today? I know I am very excited. I do want us to tackle this CLT first. What's that learning target? Let's get our target right. targets ready. I can solve problems using different strategies. Yesterday, we solved two types of problems, really three, but we solved two together, and they were add, add to result unknown and take away result unknown. And you all used some strategies that were pretty awesome. We counted on and counted back with, with our, we counted on with our addition, counted back with our subtraction, but something really cool happened as you were showing another way. With our addition, someone made a 10. They jumped to a friendly number to help them solve a problem that they weren't really sure how to solve before. And then somebody else did it with our takeaway problem. They actually used an addition double to help them solve a subtraction problem. Seeing that fat family and knowing they knew that in a snap. Good mathematicians use combinations they already know to help them solve ones they might not. I'm gonna put this to the side as we get ready to tackle some new problems today. Hold on to your hats and be ready to use what we already know to help us solve some new problems and add to our thinking. We're gonna pop this up here and I want you to look back if you need to, to help remind you of what you can do to solve those problems. All right, yesterday we talked about Maria. Today we are jumping in to Luke. And some of my Star Wars fans are gonna like these story problems today. Luke had eight Star Wars action figures. He got more for his birthday. Now he has 17 action figures. How many did he get for his birthday? I'm gonna read that for you one more time. And while I'm reading it for you, I really want you thinking, what do we already know about this problem? And what are we trying to figure out? Luke had eight Star Wars action figures. He got more for his birthday. Now he has 17 action figures. How many did he get for his birthday? I want you to take about 30 seconds of private think time. Remember that's thinking in your head, not saying out with your mouth so that all of your friends can think. I'm gonna give you about 30 seconds to think about that. And I want you to put your thumb in front of your tummy when you have an idea that you can share. I'm seeing lots of thumbs already pop up. All right, what do we already know? He had eight Star Wars action figures. There's that eight. What else do we already know? He got more for his birthday. No, what else? What are we trying to figure out? Oh, we're not ready for that, are we? He had now, after his birthday, he has 17. Wait a second. We know what he started with. We know what he ended with. Can you take a minute in your math journals? I want you to write an equation to match this story. He had a Star Wars action figures. He got some more. And now he has 17. What equation might match that story? Go ahead and take some think time to do that. And I'm going to kind of peek at what you're working on. that's where they started. Uh -huh. Did you add or subtract? Why? He got more. Do we know how many more? Oh man. All right, let's come together. I'm going to start us over here. This friend said that they started with eight because he had eight Star Wars figures. Did you add or subtract? Why? Because he got more. How many more? Oh, we don't know. So what are we gonna put if we don't know? What did I put over there where I didn't know? That's right, a box. Then what do we do? Equals 17. Why, where did that come from? How did that connect to the story? Because now he has 17. So he had eight, he got some more. We don't know how many more. 
and he has 17 after we had gotten some more. Now I want you to work with your partner and I want you to think about how would he, how would you go about solving and finding that unknown? Pause my video and play it when you're ready to share. All right, shall we start showing some thinking? Let's go. Can you share with us what you did? Oh, you did look at that? So if you looked at that, where, what were you, what strategy were you looking at? Started with eight. Okay. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Why'd you stop at 17? Oh, because right there at 17. So then where's your answer? Where's the unknown? Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine more gets to 17. We have this eight in our head. We're just kind of dreaming of it. And we go on from there. What strategy do we call that? What does this one over here say from yesterday? That's right. It is a counting on strategy. Starting with one of those numbers and then counting on to get to the other not problem you know to find out what's missing. That counting on. So there goes that 9 right up there. 8 plus 9 equals 17. That's not what I saw from yours. What did I see from yours? Oh, okay. You know that 8 plus 8 equals 16. That's a doubles fact, isn't it? Gotta love doubles facts. So, 8 plus 9 equals 17. How do you know that? Oh, because 16 plus 1 is 17, and 8 plus 1 is 9. So if you add 1 to that one, you add 1 to that one, and there it is. That's using that known fact again. You're right. We can use those known facts, especially those doubles, to help us solve these problems we don't know. I really like those doubles facts, too. They came in handy for our subtraction one over there, didn't it? Awesome. So, I'm curious. Is there any other way to solve this problem? Counting on was one we used the other day, and we also used those known facts. What did you do? You've actually subtracted. What did it look like when you subtracted? I'll use a number line. I just love a good number line tool. Where did you start? Why did you start with 17 down here? Because you were going to a smaller number. Okay, so then what did you do? Took away seven. Why did you take away seven? Because it got you to 10. Okay, that T number. And then you're trying to get to what number? Trying to get to eight. And if you're at 10 and you're jumping to eight, what are you taking away? And so where's the nine there? In your jumps. There's that nine. Hot diggity dog. Counting on. Using a known fact. And this is subtracting to solve the addition problem. It absolutely is. Starting with the whole, taking away a part that you know to find the part that you don't. That's fantastic. Let's see if we can put that to use in the next problem. Same strategies to solve just like a different looking problem. This is actually an add to part or change unknown. We didn't know what the change was. We didn't know how many more that... Luke had gotten. So let's take a little peek down here. The next problem says, let's read it together. Luke has 12 Star Wars action figures. There are seven on a shelf and the rest are under his bed. How many are under his bed? I would like for us to have a little conversation today. So we're going to come up with an equation on our own and then we're going to show our thinking 
but be prepared to explain your strategy to your partner. We're really going to encourage that partner to talk today. And today we're going to um, share our thinking and then we're, and we're both going to share and then we're going to compare our ideas. Okay. So let's take a few seconds. We're going to share, we're going to think about an equation that matches the story and then we will have a chance to show our thinking and share with our partner. Let's read it together real quick and then I'll let you guys think, what do I know? What am I trying to find out? Luke has 12 Star Wars action figures. There are seven on a shelf and the rest are under his bed. How many are under his bed? If you're at home, pause now to give your child a chance to think and then you can join us. Okay. Let's see what we've got going. Wait a second. I see one equation over here and one equation over here. Okay. 12. Take away 7 equals blank. How does that connect to this story? 12 action figures. 7 on a shelf. Some are under the bed. We don't know how many are in the bed. What about your equation? You didn't have a subtraction problem. Oh, seven on a shelf. Some under his bed. And 12 total. Huh. I'll be anxious to see how you guys go about solving this problem. Hmm. All right. Take some private think time. Show me that work. That equation was real quick to solve. Okay. 12. Sorry, I'm trying to do 